Hi guys and welcome to another Draft of Glory by myself, Bateson87. Today we are going to be doing a Draft of Glory. I don't know what we're going to be doing. No aims, no plans, no formations or anything. And as you can see guys, we have managed to uh, flog a lot of stuff on the transfer list, mainly from yesterday's... Um a dreadful pack video and another loss in the final, which is something which I need to really sort out. All the squad fitness are sold for 200, so we can list some more up if we wanted to. These are not selling for some reason, so I'm just going to send them to the club. You never know, they might come back... Um might come back and might be wanted sometime soon. Hopefully, anyway, and one squad fitness actually never sold. So if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes, or cheat game codes, guys, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. And if we try and hit over 5,000 likes, that'd be awesome. Subscribe to me if you're not already. So, um... And in, I don't know what I don't know what the plan is today, guys. We've got 244,000, which is basically what we ended last, yesterday's, um... Yesterday's episode, I think, I think it was 244, 45... Need to need to start getting back to winning ways. Feeling confident on FIFA though, that's something I am feeling confident on. Took us down to two two nine there. I don't know what formation to go with. Four three three attack could work out uh, all right. A lot of people actually do enjoy that formation. And we have got the four five one attack, the five three two, which I think we've used previously. Um, but I don't really like. I don't actually do I mind rocking three five at the back. I don't know, I might go 4 3 3 attack and see what we can get um, in this formation. Let's see what we get as a choice. Ibrahimovic, that'd be nice. Eden Hazard would be nice as well. Um, Ronaldo, obviously, uh, would be a ridiculous choice, but someone we do pick up. Well, actually, I don't, know, I don't think we had Ronaldo in the last draft, did we? Um, let's take. Let's take. Eden has a start off with in the left wing. Let, let's do that and see if we can get like Bashui. Um oh, oh even better guys. We've got we could either go with Lukaku or uh, Diego Costa. I'm gonna go with Diego Costa there. Um getting the strong link. Quite easy to uh, hybridize down the side. We'll see if we get left back. Maybe we get Azpil is Azpil a left uh, a left back he isn't. We do get Monreal. We get Luke Shaw as well, uh, who is pretty solid. So I am going to go with uh, Luke Shaw. Let's see what we get in the centre midfield position. If we get someone decent like Dembele, Kante, even better guys. Kante, another Chelsea player. Uh, so we can basically hybridise it. If we can get a BPL, Chelsea Cam, Oscar, Mata. It's a shame that one really. Mata might be an easy one. Um, oh, actually, yeah, Mata. Yeah, that will sort it, won't it? So that's basically the hybrid side on that side. We can actually try and build something different um, down this if we wanted to and actually do our first hybrid uh, of the Draft of Glory. So we get Di Maria. We get Robin. I'm going to take Robin. I've not used that in form, Robin. I'm going to try Robin out. Let's see if we can get anyone else, guys. Um, oh, that is the worst place to get a Bayern player. Um, any of them would do. Nothing would do, would it? Don't really matter on that one. That's a bit of a horrible one. Philip Lamb. Will be a nice one here. Or anyone Dutch. Mounier. Um, could take. Could take Mounier in trying to get Di Maria again. Or could take Vidal in trying to get Messi. And I like the car, I like Vidal a little bit better. And he's got a Hunter Chem style on him as well. So I'll go with him. Spanish as well might help out if we end up swapping it around. Let's see if we get in the two centre back positions. We get older Reld. We get PK, and obviously PK is a perfect link to Vidal, so I might do that one. Um, Titi will be a nice one as well, but only gets one link. I will go with, uh, I'll go with PK, PK that one. Let's see who we get next to Vidal. If I can, oh, we get Inform Benucci. We get Jimenez and we get Martinez. So obviously Martinez is going to be the shout here. Um, let's go Martinez and PK as the two two centre backs. Just a centre midfielder. A Messi. We're hoping we're hoping, we're we're pinning all our hopes on getting Messi, guys. We get Alves, we get Casillas, and we do just Casillas. We need another chemistry link to Martinez. Is his club in there? So see that it's not. Um I think I think La Liga is gonna be the safest bet here, guys. So I am gonna go with uh, Alves just to be safe here. I'm still gonna try and swap out that right hand side though, because I still really do want to get um a Bayern Munich midfielder. But we might struggle with it. We get Stecklenburg who pops up there. So I'll go with Steckers. Even though I can't see him coming into the team in any way. We get David Luiz. I might take David Luiz because obviously he gets a Chelsea link there. And, a, and actually a Brazilian link. So we could swap them two out um, there. That's his chemistry sorted. And it's just a, still two players we need. But... It's looking alright. It's looking alright for our first attempt at a hybrid. We get the Rodriguez card, and there's been a lot of controversy around that one, guys. If you have seen um, with the 
no one will fit in there. Uh, with the uh, lone one, you guys have seen it in the Squad Build Challenge. Absolutely a horrendous choice by EA Sports, in my opinion. San Jose or Bernat? I'm going to go Bernat. He can replace them two. Boom, 100 chem. Now it's just Iron Robin we're looking to replace. And Messi is obviously our best shout to try and get Messi. We do get Matuidi. We get Modric as well. And we get Marco Royce and Coutinho. Don't really need... Don't really need anyone, really. Matuidi, if we continue trying to go down that other link. We do get Wayne Rooney, who could be a good choice. Actually, I don't know. I'm quite happy with that midfield, but I might go with... I might go Modric to see if he can try and do anything. I don't think he will be able to, though. And, uh, right, unless we get, like, Bale. I don't know if that'll work. We get Biabiani, French link, nothing. Modest. Lead on Gook, Kishner. Uh, I will go with rating on this one with Modest. And now we're on to the random choices. We get Gaspar. We get Lucas. This would have been a good shout earlier. Uh, right back. Is he better than... Gaspar might be better than Vidal. Um, I might go with uh, with Gaspar just in case I put him, decide to put him in over Vidal. Brahimi, left wing. Hernanez, Bashui. That's not a... Bad defensive, uh, def uh, sorry, um, replacement striker uh, for sure. Still looking for Messi. All points to Messi. Vasquez can do it and he will put it onto full chemistry and everyone will be on full chem. Uh, if I put him in there and then obviously we're going to have to uh, try and um, bring on a substitute as well. Uh, if we can do it, we get a story, Schmelzer, De La Four, Spanish right midfielder. He could actually fit in as well. He would actually be a better starter, I think, than Vasquez. Uh, so I might go with it like that. And then the final two, Messi, Pele, Ronaldo, come on, or anyone. Hernandez, superstar striker. I will take that for sure. It looks like Robin may be coming on as a sub uh, by looks of it because these are not giving me any decent choices. We do get an informed Roberto as well. He would be... I didn't like him last time I used him. So I'm not going to go with him. Cabela... I might go with uh, I might go with Kiate. Depend depending on how the game's going, I might go with Kiate. But that's how the team does look. Not a bad little draft, to be fair, guys. We did try hybridizing it up. We have hybridized it up actually, and uh, everyone is on full chemistry. And uh, obviously we've got Robin on the bench as well, which would come on very very nicely. Um, I am going to replace Vidal with uh, Gaspar as well and start him out. And uh, the amount of Chelsea players we did get in this draft was uh, absolutely ridiculous. So let's sort it out. We got Luka Modric as well. I forgot about him. And. A very, very good defence for a change. Absolutely solid defence uh, for a change. And we're at a 184. Can we get it to a 185? I don't think we can. Let's see. We take out Vidal. Let's see. 184. Swap them two around. Does it change anything? 184 is our highest rate. But still a solid team. I don't know. Are you guys impressed with that? I don't think we made any mistakes. I probably have, knowing me. I always make mistakes. But um, I'm happy with that to start off with. Obviously, we've got Bernat and uh, Delafour, who will probably be making way for the likes of... Um, Robin and probably Modric, I think. And uh, I'm happy with that team for sure. Hopefully, it can do a business in draft. Leave a like rating, guys. Subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. And let's even get a Spanish manager as well to make it the perfect draft, which it has done. There we are, guys. The perfect draft. A lot of Spanish players, a lot of Chelsea players, and... Um a hybrid, our first ever hybrid uh, on the draft. And it's not our highest rated team, but it should be a team which hopefully I can go on and win with. We need a draft win. I want at least three draft wins this week, so we need to kickstart it today. So let's get into it, guys, and see how we do in the four games. So, guys, here we are up against our first opponent. Three at the back, uh, Scare Luis uh, in the centre-back position, along with Martinez and some random 75-rated gold Spanish player. Uh, Alves, front three, Bale, Ronaldo, Neymar, um, Munayin at uh, left midfield and Messi at right midfield. And uh, this game was so much fun. The reason it's so much fun, guys, is because the free formation, 3-4-3 uh, three, three formation, sorry, the 3-4-2-1 formation, are the worst two formations in FIFA. If anyone can play with it, Winning foot champions, win any game with that. With that, I'd be very, very surprised. It's not a competitive formation. So when you're going to come up against me, guys, I'm going to exploit it. Two 0 within 40 minutes, and it took me a while to actually get kickstarted in this game. But once we got firing, brought on obviously the two substitutions, which I did say, which was going to be Modric and Robin um, taking off uh, Benat uh, and. Um 
uh, De La Foa, uh, De La Foa, sorry. Uh, I took both of them off and instantly we were firing. This goal shouldn't have been a goal. I have no idea what David Luiz was doing, but that's a broken mechanic with inside the game itself. Nice 4 1 victory in the first game. Um, could have been more, but as you can see, guys, 14 shots on target. I was just messing around. Next opponent, what does he rock up with, guys? A 3 4 3 formation uh, with low chemistry as well, 71 chem. This guy was a foot founder. Um, a lot of. A lot of things around foot founders recently the main reason being is a lot of people actually back out against foot founders when it comes to foot champions i've I have no idea why people do it because foot champions, uh, sorry, foot founders are people who have had the game since FIFA 09 have loaded up Ultimate Team in the first two or three months of the game starting and uh, obviously um, are experienced. They've played the game for a bit. It doesn't mean they're going to be good at the game. They might just be a casual player um, who plays the game now and then. This guy was obviously a casual player. Couldn't handle the pressure I was put him under. Got a red card instantly as well. Um, it, the goal disallowed, but thankfully Hazard did score it from the penalty spot. And then we continued to pepper his goal. He did make substitutions, fair play to him to uh, cover that red card he did get and uh, it was just uh, hard for, for him to contain the fast passing and obviously the placement of a lot of these players. Robin goes for a shot, saved, bounces straight to Diego Costa, 2-0 in the 40th minute. Then it continued to get better. Uh, just for half time, Diego Costa picking up the ball, sees the runner hazard, waits it, waits it, waits it. Nice chip through ball through to, um, sorry, Robin it was, and Robin with a nice finesse shot underneath the keeper, makes it 3-0 and... Um, he had no chance of coming back into this game, guys. That red card completely screwed him. And uh, fair play to him. He stuck around for the full 90 minutes, even though he was getting a complete slapping and, and made a mockery. You can see there, 4-0, uh, 54 minutes. And we continue to score even more, guys. Uh, breaking on through in the 57th minute. Diego Costa picking up the ball. Goes for the fake shot. Waits everyone to run on. Squares the ball to Modric. Modric misses, but Robin's there. Tap it in and make it 5-0. This guy was getting nowhere near my area. And when he did, guys, we caught him on the counter-attack, as you can see with this bit of play. Um, I took the ball off him and instantly guys we are like 4 on 2 and at this point we are 3 on 1 and then uh, Robin picks up the ball, he's able to do the fake shot round the player and uh, a nice finesse underneath the keeper makes it 6-0 in this game and uh, that proves guys if you're going to take anything away from this video I know a lot of people don't and get a lot of people get pissy with me um, about the way I do drafts but if you're ever going to pick a 3-4-3 formation or a 3-4-2-1 formation in draft then you have to be a YouTuber going for the highest rated draft in FIFA, there's no other point in going for the 3 4 3 or 3 4 2 1 formation because they are not competitive. You're going to get slapped, you're going to get opened up, and it's going to cost you guys a win and potentially not being able to pack a good player. So, if you guys ever do get them, either them two formations, I really recommend avoiding them. And even if it is choosing a 5 at the back or a 3 5 2 or, or something you're just not really comfortable with, never go near them two formations because you will, um, in, in my opinion and in my experiences with drafts, you are going to get a complete slapping. We make it 1 0 in the 16th, uh, just before 16th minute actually and then uh, Bernat dribbling inside the area is able to square it off to Mata and Juan Mata with a nice top corner finish shot makes it 2-0 in the 17th minute brilliant finish and then continuing on guys and this is against a decent formation actually just the team was so strong uh, Mata linking up uh, with um Bernat, who we slid on the pitch, actually, uh, links up to Costa. Costa with a nice drilled shot there, makes it 3-0, and uh, it was looking like it was going to be clean, clean, clean sailing as we do get a rage quit into the final, guys. So, a nice run so far. Uh, like I said, take that away from you guys. Never, never choose the three at the back formations, um, unless it's a 3-5-2, because that's actually a very good formation, but the other ones are absolutely garbage. Um... Unless you're actually looking for like a social media post, some videos say you got the highest rated draft, uh, but I would not go near it. Next formation, guys, the 4 5 1 formation. This one's actually a very solid one in midfield, lacks a little bit up front. This game, we spent ages trying to score a goal. It never happened until the 88th minute when Diego Costa gets pulled down with inside the area. It would have probably scored if he had got been able to get it away, guys. He probably would have scored that anyway. Um, a rough game, a rough game it was, but as you can see, not even anything really, just got nudged a little bit. Pressure's put on Eden Hazard, Eden Hazard steps up guys, and a nice chipped, delicate penalty wins us the game uh, in the 89th minute to seal us a draft victory, so let's go see what we get. So guys, an absolutely clean sweep all the way throughout the draft, till the final where it was a game of... 
his keeper keeping him in it and last ditch defending. It was a frustrating game as you can see guys. We dominated it but only could get away with a penalty. Now I'm going to show you some of the like highlights and you can see guys uh, saved by Begovic here. I don't know what I was doing but he shouldn't have saved. It was a terrible choice of a shot by me um, to save us there. Um, we got this one as well. Uh, do I remember how we, I don't know how he saved this. It should have gone underneath but he saved it anyway. Um, that was another chance. Stella for miss. Loads of chance. This was a horrible one I think. Or was it a horrible one? I can't remember. Yeah it was a horrible Went for it. Could have gone in. Who knows? Who knows? And then we got Begovic with a save again. Uh, this time for Modric. Ball picked up. Boom. No power. Begovic again. What happens here? Yeah, that was another shit, another, another shit shot. And then we got Begovic with a save again. <laughs> he just Begovic, Begovic. And this one was, should have been a goal. It was just a terrible choice of shot there. Um, but it was a game we definitely should have won, guys. And thankfully, we did. Beating the duck. So we got two final appearances in two... Um, in two draft of glories now. Whether we can get the super reward. We can only dream of it guys. We can only dream of the super reward. Not two 25k packs. Why do I even do draft? Like seriously. Why do I even do draft? This is. That is. That. This, fuck that. That pack is fucking shit. I never get anything. No one gets anything good from these packs. EA may as well just get rid of them. They may as well. That is ridiculous. That I've spent time smashing people to get rewarded with nothing does that this this guy even sell we can try and sell him anyway he might sell for he, he might sell um we got this guy do i even sell him 600 yes i do sell him we got barkos and i think he should sell because he is in the uh yeah he will sell because he is in the argentinian league currently uh, we've got Stendor, Stendardo, 350 i'll list him up then we've got b block Oop. What does what B-Block sell for? Does B-Block sell? Doesn't look like he sells. So we're listing for 200. We got... Um, uh, um, I keep going to discard. Right, so this guy should sell 200. But he discards at 240. So I'll list him up for 250. Uh, 350 BIM. And we've got contracts, contracts, contracts. Which do not sell, so there's no point. Fitness, which will store. And the rest is discard. So that is... The, the, honestly, unless I pull some absolutely massive... We are getting absolutely jack shit yet again from winning the draft, guys. And we're just getting non-rare players. And this guy, Xando, may sell because there is a squad builder challenge out of him currently uh, where you can actually use him. 450 for that guy. I'll take that one. 83 pace right mid. Never even heard of him. Uh, then we've got Xando. He sells for... Not even 350 by the looks of it. So I'll listen for 400 see if he disappears. we got this guy and he is Hellas League. But does he sell... Doesn't look like this guy sells. If you don't sell, I'll relist them up. Then we've got discard. Um, discard them too. We could have a new kit if we wanted it and a new badge. I'm happy with my kits. I'm happy with my badges. So discard them. Physical, we'll discard that. And we'll discard that. So that's them gone. Then we've got the heal head healing card. I don't know if head healing sells. Nah, 200. We can try and sell it. If it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. And then we've got the contract, which I don't think sells either. 250. I'll list it for 200, see if it sells. Because um, them ones very, very rarely sell. So now we're on to the premium gold players pack, guys. Where we're hoping to get something big. We've got three rare gold players. Oh, my days. Should do. Do you guys agree with me when I say that EA should fuck these packs off? Because they are absolutely garbage. So we've got Abdenor, 61 pace centre back, 750 he sells for. Um, we've got Shadu, Pacey, Turkish Liga centre back, but doesn't sell. We'll listen for 750, see if it goes. We've got Peruzzi, who temporarily could sell. Oh, unless Marquee matchups have gone, that, that's why he might not be selling. Uh, so we'll offload him. We've got Sambuesa. He's got high prices on him, hasn't he? 350. He sells, so we'll list him up. We've got Davis. Um, quite a high rated BPL. 400. I saw a bid on him there. He's gone. Yunez. And I, you know, you know, I absolutely butcher Pats, guys. Yunez, does he sell? 700. Yes, he does. So we'll list him up for five star. Enrique. Uh, does he go for this much? Why does this guy go for so much? 1,500. That's crazy. Why does this guy go for so much? That's nuts. He might be our most expensive pat pole player today, guys. Dalabella should sell. 
350 again, listing for 400. And then we got Ferreira uh, for 450. Ooh. Listing there. We'll keep the silver guys up. We always keep the silver guys. Work sell. 300, we're listing for 350. And then we got Garcia uh, as well. Tigra goalkeeper, 400. He's got a bid on, so he's gone. And the final player, Diara, we will keep in our club. So, final premium goal players pack, guys. Are we going to get a special? We're not. We're not even going to get an over 84. We get Jimenez, 83. I can't complain, really. It could be a Sterling sat in here as well. Schmelzer. Jimenez. I don't even think sells for anything, really. I list him up. He might go. He might not. Uh, looking through the pack, there's nothing else really there which goes for anything. Schmelzer, 900 coins. Uh... Does that guy, does he sell at the moment? Nope. Uh, so we'll keep their two, um, keep them to. oop, nearly discard them, keep them two. We've got that guy, Yusupov, who doesn't sell. I should listen for 350 actually. This guy might be in BPL for Scrub Bill Chance, 450, he's got a bid on. We, we, I can't see us making our money back on, on this, this, uh, this pack up, this pack, yeah, this pack, draft rewards it's been absolutely absolutely fucking garbage i think that's twice in a row we've won the draft final and twice in a row we got the 25k pack we can only hope guys for four draft final wins this week um but currently it's not looking good uh if you're going to reward us like this it's like you get hyped up you get hyped up you get hyped up and then EA just take a massive fucking dump on your face some people may enjoy that Bateson is not one of the 1000 what Bateson isn't one of them people which does enjoy getting shit on. Um, and then we get Villar as well, who I think we had in our club but doesn't sell. So uh, we'll list him up for 700. And that's it done, guys. So horrendous pack opening. I tried my best. Nothing I can do. Look at the draw. And uh, we are on, a, on the start to a draft win run, hopefully. Anyway, so guys, leave a like, rate, and subscribe if you're not. And we'll be back another day, another video for you guys to enjoy.